What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Greg. Go crazy, go crazy. Yes, we are back here with another video. Now, before you do anything, go on and press that like button for your boy. Go on and press that subscribe button for your boy if you're a new sub. And also, turn on the post notification bell so you can get notified every time I post a new video. Now, as y'all can see by the title and the thumbnail, I'm making a prime Hakeem the Dream Elijah one build. Yes, now if y'all want a seven foot build that's plays similar to Hakeem, this is the build you are going to want to make. Now you can see, you know, Hakeem, y'all know Hakeem was going crazy in the post, one of the best post playing centers ever in NBA history. That's why he got a whole name out. He even got a badge in this game named after him. Dream Shake. That's all Hakeem right there. Now y'all see y'all had to give him 23 finishing, 13 shooting, which I only gave him the mid range. I didn't give him no free throw or nothing. But if y'all want to tweak it and make it differently, y'all can give him free throw, three pointer. But that really wouldn't be Hakeem like y'all know because back in his era, he wasn't really shooting threes like that. But hey, that's what up to y'all. But y'all see I gave him a little bit of playmaking. Now y'all know I had to go crazy with the interior defense and the block and the rebounds and the physicals. Like, come on now, I had to go crazy when y'all know how King was rebounding. He was most definitely setting those big body screens. Like, this build would be crazy with the big body screens. This would mostly be like an inside type center. If you're not a three point shooter and you just want to make like an inside center that's a good big man, make a build like this. But you could tweak it a little bit to your own preference. This is all preference made. This is my preference if I made this Hakeem the Dream Elijah One type build. You can see the badge count is 23 finishing. He ends with 13 shooting. He ends with 16 playmaking with gold bullet passes. That's just enough for you to pass the ball the way you need to or as fast as you need to. And he gets 34 defense. Now, as y'all can see, I was tweaking just little things on the build, you know, toning his vertical down a little bit, giving him just a little bit of free throw so he can't shoot free throws, you know. Trying to just adjust a little bit of things, just tweak it, if you know what I mean. So, you know, he can get just a little bit, a little less, more playmaking if he needs more. Now, you can see I'm toning it up just so he can get a 70 free throw. Now, the reason I gave him a 70 free throw because you need free throw if you're going to use this build. Like, this is a big man inside center type build, like I said previously. So, you're going to need free throw if they foul. You don't want to have no big man build that cannot shoot free throws. That is a downfall build. Like, I made previously some of my builds in the past. You can check out on my channel. I made some of my builds without free throw, and I regretted it. From now on, I make all my builds with free throws. So free throws is a big part of this build too. Now, as you can see, he does get gold rebound chaser. Now, I wish I could have got Hall of Fame rebound chaser on this build, but the way this build comes out, he just doesn't get Hall of Fame rebound chaser. But as you can see, for the takeover, I did give that man Hakeem this build, the advanced post moves build. Because y'all know Hakeem was a big player. If you don't know, he's a big post player. And I also gave him paint intimidation because Hakeem was protecting the rim, man. Come on now. That was a good big man. Now, as you can see, this build title comes out to a two-way mid-range maestro. Now, I don't know why they compared this build to Rudy Gobert because that man do not shoot mid-ranges or Dekati Matumbo. He don't really, she didn't, this game wasn't really best on mid-ranges either. So, I don't know why they compared that build or my build. I made two. Hakeem Olajuwon on them, I mean, to Rudy Gobert and all them, but hey, man, side though. Now, these are the best badge layups that I would give this Hakeem Dream build. Now, y'all know you, I had to give that man Hall of Fame Dream Shake. I mean, it's part of the name. <laughs> it's a badge in Athens. Why would you not give him the badge that 2K made for him, you know? But these are the finishing badges I would give him. Now, let's move on to the shooting badges I would give him. Now, the shooting badges I would give that man. Y'all know he got to have Hall of Fame fade days. Hakeem used to go crazy in the paint. I mean, in the post. Now, I would give him Hot Zone Hunter for the mid-range on goal. Just because, you know, you got to be able to shoot the mid-ranges. You just have to be able to shoot them. Especially if you're a big man with a mid-range. You got to be able to shoot the mid-range. And I also gave that man bronze green machine. And I also gave him bronze sniper. Just because you don't need sniper as high as you need it as much. I mean, if you can shoot, if you can shoot in 2K, you don't need to sniper that high. That's just really a waste of badge points. But as you can see, onto the playmaking. You know, for this build, I would give him Hall of Fame Break Starter. Break Starter is a good badge. 
especially if your teammate is out on the fast break and R1, L1 on the ball to him, easy assist just for you. And that gold bullet pass will help throw the ball quicker too, as you can see. But you see, I get that man triple threat juke. Now that badge does work. I haven't really tested that out, but I've seen a post on Twitter of somebody using that badge that does work. Now you could try to use this build on the one v one court, but if you would use this build on the one v one court, I would recommend tweaking it because the playmaking is what's gonna get you. Cause you can't dribble on that build, and if you have no, if you have unpluggable on bronze guards, are just gonna rip you on the one v one court. Now. For the defensive badge, you see, I had to get that man Hall of Fame brick wall, Hall of Fame intimidator. But I switched his box from Hall of Fame to go. I just dropped it down one. But you see, I also get that man Hall of Fame rim protector. So this build is going to protect the rim if you time it right. That's all you have to do. And I gave him gold rebound chase, which is the max rebound chase he can get. Don't know why, but hey, man, so you just got to work with what you got to work with on 2K. Now, I also gave him Hall of Fame pogo stick, because pogo stick is a very useful badge in every 2k if you create a center but yeah man this is the badge count i would give this build this hakeem the dream elijah Wan, what you mean go crazy in the post type build man but yeah man let the build i mean test the build out let me know how i go it's been your boy greg go crazy go crazy and i'm out man peace